Hello everyone, my name is Yanko and welcome to a brand new video. So guys, today we are doing the Celtic reviews. Of course, we have just beaten Rangers by two goals to one arm. We are brand new top that I'd got for Christmas. That light in the background, you guys can see, creates like a, a light above on the ceiling. It's nice and peaceful, it keeps you nice and calm. It, you know, it helps a lot. So, you know, I've been having that on quite a good bit. So... Of course today was a very, very eventful game, so, so much going on, Rangers were denied a penalty, so were we, um, Rangers went down to 10 men and, and so, so much more, but we'll show the penalty incident right now. Of course, that's a penalty, it's... I've watched it many, many times. At first, I'm like, nah, not a penalty. Then, the more and more I see it, I'm like, we dodged a bullet there. We got lucky that that was not given. And then we find out that it was actually VAR had seen a handball. No, offside, sorry. Offside was the reason that the penalty was not getting given. So I'm like, right, fair enough. That was good for us. But we did manage to take the lead in the first half before any of that happened to it was Paolo Bernardo and he gets his first Derby Day goal and here is the goal from Bernardo beautiful wee strike from Paolo great great finish unbelievable from the young man you know brilliant goal to say the least but we obviously then score a second, it was an absolute screamer from Kyogo for a hashi. Here is Kyogo's goal. Now, if you guys are watching this, it takes some great, great quality to beat a goalkeeper like Jack, Jack Butland from that distance. And that's exactly what Kyogo did. He had a fantastic strike, he managed to score, which was absolutely fantastic, from the young man, well, the man from Japan. Absolutely incredible. I'm very, very happy that we, that we did win the game, but I thought the last 15, 20 minutes, we were very, very shaky, making a lot of mistakes, giving away a lot of fouls. One of the fouls had led to, well, one of the fouls that Rangers gave away led to a red card. Here is a red card for Leon Balgan. So you guys can see, ball gets played through to Maeda. Balligan grabs a hold of Maeda, pulls him to the ground. It's the last man. Red card. Correct decision. Whether, no matter how much contact there is, you put your hand on a player, forcing him to the ground. And you're the last man, you're sent off. I'm still getting over this cold, by the way. So, yeah. My absolute correct decision to give the red card guys can argue all you want, say whatever, it's a red card, all day long, last man, instant red card, but, you know, when, when Rangers went down to 10 men, they looked better than what they were with 11, which was very, very confusing, to be perfectly honest with you, I mean, obviously you're, you're not meant to play better um, with 10, you're meant to play better with 11, but that's not what Rangers did, they managed to play better with 10 men on the part they did that with a free kick from James Tavernier just like he did the last time um, absolutely fantastic goal not taking away from Tav fantastic strike from him you know as well as he's, he's got to go and here is James Tavernier's goal for Rangers so when you a goal was going to be needed for Rangers and Tavernier's the man that, that done it. It was a fantastic strike, fantastic goal, created a lot. So, you know, ultimately we had we had a very very good game. We we went right from a, 
right from the very start. Created chances, created opportunities, looked sharp and looked that we were going to be well getting back to our best, really, to, to put it that way. It was a, a very, very good encounter between the two of us. It was, very, it was closer. Um, it was very, very close. I thought it was going to be close. No, I knew it was. And it, that's exactly what it was. It was a close game. Obviously, we we looked sharper and we looked as if we did want it more in um, this game. But for Rangers fans believing that the, the league title's race is over, it's not. You know, you've if, if still got two games in hand. We've still got to meet each other twice. Anything can happen from now to the end of the season. But I'm looking forward to the title races. You know, after um, two weeks from hell, we won back-to-back games. Um, we've now won three on the bounce. So, you know, we've we've had a very, very up and down season, um, to say the least. But, you know, I think we've been outstanding so far and I'm happy with what we've done. So, let's hope that we can do it again um, against St Mern on Tuesday. But, anyway, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Down to our website, it's never messed up, bud. See you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out.